thank you very much. I just spoke with Nancy Pelosi, and we had a good conversation having to do with the, the bill, humanitarian aid at the border for the children, mostly. And uh, we are moving along very well with a bipartisan bill in the Senate. I uh, spoke with Mitch, spoke to a lot of people. We're doing very well. Uh, it's very far along, and I believe the House is going to also be getting together with the Senate. Hopefully, they can get something done. It's humanitarian aid. It's very important. And I think that a lot of people are starting to realize that I was right when I said we have a crisis at the border. Everyone's saying now we had a crisis at the border. It wasn't a manufactured crisis, which they were saying. It wasn't manufactured at all. We have a crisis at the border. We can solve the problem if they would change some of the rules and regulations, change asylum, uh, change uh, so many different things. The loopholes in particular could be done very quickly, and you wouldn't have this problem. I've been saying it for a year and a half. I've been saying you have to change the loopholes, you have to change asylum. You wouldn't have this problem. They're not working on that, unfortunately, today. What they're working on is aid. It's humanitarian aid for the children. It seems that the Senate is very close. I think that Nancy wants to get something done. And uh, the Senate and the House will get together. I think they'll be able to do something very good. I'm heading, as you know, and some of you are coming with me. I'm heading to Japan, Osaka. And we're going to be meeting with a lot of different countries, many of whom have been taking advantage of the United States, but not so much anymore and soon not at all anymore. So uh, we appreciate it. Any questions? Are you concerned in any way about Robert Mueller's testimony next month before Congress? No, look, the Mueller thing never stopped. There was no collusion. There was no obstruction. There was no nothing. How many times do we have to hear it? It never ends. It just keeps going on and on. I've been going through this for two years, two and a half years. And the criminal activity was on the other side with the fake dossier, the phony fraudulent dossier, and all of the other things they've done, the Pfizer courts, all of that, with the uh, insurance policy by Strook and his lover, Page. Uh, this is a disgraceful thing. And now we keep, I heard about it last night, and I just said, does it ever end? At what point does it end? It's a disgrace. No obstruction, no collusion. Now, the Democrats want to do over. So they had to do over in the House, that didn't work. They had to do over in the Senate, that didn't work. There are no do overs. We spent a long time working with Mueller. I gave him all the witnesses he wanted. I gave him lawyers. I gave him people. I guess he interviewed 500 people, 2,500 subpoenas. They had everything they could possibly have. Nobody's ever had more. Nobody's ever been more transparent. And now it continues further. This is just a hoax. I call it the witch hunt, but it's really a hoax. It's the greatest hoax ever in the history of our country. And it's the worst political scandal on the other side. So we'll see, because a lot of things right now are coming out that are very, very bad what they did. But this just continues on. Two and a half years it continues. Yeah. 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 I cannot. You does, 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 the, does the proto of the drowned immigrant cause yeah. you Well, that's like I've been saying. If they fixed the laws, you wouldn't have that. People are coming up. They're running through the Rio Grande. It's a rough. It can be a very rough river of sorts. I mean, there are times when going across the Rio Grande is very, very dangerous, depending on the time of year and the conditions and the rapidity of the water. And we know that. And we have many, many guards there, but people go through the guards. If we had the right laws that the Democrats are not letting us have, those people, they wouldn't be coming up. They wouldn't be trying. We're building the wall. It's under construction. It's a lot of it is under construction. We'll have over 400 miles next year by the end of the year. But it's very important. They can change it very easily so people don't come up and people won't get killed. Women are being raped on the journey up. You have these caravans. Women are being raped. And one of the terrible things, children are actually being brought into slavedom. If you look at what's happening, the cartels and the coyotes, they're getting rich because the Democrats refuse to change the loopholes. They refuse to change the asylum. 
in one hour we could have it done. They want to have open borders, and open borders mean crime, and open borders mean people drowning in the rivers, and it's a very dangerous thing. How do you feel about the father and the daughter? I hate it, and I know it could stop immediately if the Democrats change the law. They have to change the laws. And then that father, who probably was this wonderful guy with his daughter, things like that wouldn't happen because that journey across that river, that journey across that river is a very dangerous journey. That's a very, very dangerous journey. And we don't think, and by the way, just so you understand, many other things happen. Look, you've seen it. They women being raped, doing it. Women, women being raped in numbers that nobody believes in the caravans coming up. Now, I want to thank Mexico. They put 6,000 people at the border. Your asylum policy is responsible for what happened. Uh, the asylum policy of the Democrats is responsible no, no, because they will not, they will not change the asylum policy. But now, for the first time, they're starting to talk about it. I don't know anything about it. I just heard. And my only response to Mueller is, does it ever stop? After all of these years and times and people, does it ever stop? And the Democrats use it to try and divert from what they have. Because what they've done, if you look and you see, and it's just my opinion, tremendous criminal activity on their side. And they know it. And this is a diversion. But I ask you this, does it ever stop? Okay. I'll have a very good conversation with him. What I say to him is none of your business. Go ahead. There's a possibility. I'm meeting with Russia. I'm meeting with China. I'm meeting with many countries. We're meeting with many countries. We have many things. We've been ripped off by everybody over the years. They're not ripping us off anymore. A big difference right now. We're meeting with China. Just so you know, China has been paying us billions and billions of dollars. Until I got here, they never paid this country 10 cents. So we'll see what happens with China, with Russia, with Japan, with many countries. Is the ball now in Iran's court? Say it. Is the ball now in Iran's court? As far as the ball's in no court. You know what? Iran can do whatever they want. It's just fine. I have plenty of time. But they have a country that's in economic distress. It's, a, it's an economic disaster right now. They could solve it quickly or they can solve it in 10 years from now. Whatever they want is fine with me. Whatever they want. I have all the time in the world. I'm sitting here, I have all the time in the world. In the meantime, they have very strong sanctions. They have to live with those sanctions. But Iran should do the right thing for their people. The problem is, I don't believe their leader. I, I'm not sure that their leaders care for their people. If they do, they'll make a deal. If they don't, they're just thinking about themselves. And they're selfish and they're stupid if that's what they're doing. I'll be meeting with uh, a lot of other people, not by him, but I may be speaking to him in a different form. I'll be going, as you know, to South Korea after we're finished with the G20. And we'll be there for about a day. We have a lot of meetings planned with a lot of different countries. We are a country that's respected again. Not like the old days, we're respected again. These countries respect us. They didn't respect us three, four, five years ago. They respect us again. Thank you very much.